Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to DBS. And uh, while I uh, duel in this fight club, and uh, there's a dark um, blade of the dark moon summon that I'm gonna show you later, and then one nice flawless uh, victory against uh, a ringed knight paired greatsword in the arena. Um, I wanted to just touch upon the Dark Souls remaster. Unless you've been living under a rock, uh, last week Dark Souls remastered was announced for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. I'm not gonna get into details of what we know and we don't know and spec whatever. Um, I'm very happy that this is coming out. At the same time, I'm a bit skeptical and I'm a bit worried. Um, why? For, for the reasons that I do uh, look forward to this release is because, well, it's one of my favorite games. Um, I put a lot of time and hours into that game. So obviously that's really great to revisit again in high definition. I must stress that I'm a console peasant. I do not have a gaming PC. I am not um, in that PC master race. So you have to keep that in mind. That's why I'm excited for it. Um, second thing, I don't have a capture card, so I cannot play Dark Souls on the PS3 and upload any videos of that. Um, <clears throat> thirdly, I might, I'll be able to make some nice videos in 60 FPS, which is something uh, I'm sure everyone will be appreciative of. Plus it gives us something to do for the channel because Let's face it, all I do is post Dark Souls and Bloodborne stuff, so it just keep, gives me more reason to try new things. Anyway, that's why I'm excited for it. What I'm not excited for, or let's say I'm, I'm um, worried about the PvP side. We know that it's now six, peep, uh, six players online instead of four. We know there's going to be password matchmaking. Now, assuming that this port is a hundred percent replicant repli replicant replication of the game except in higher textures and better quality lighting and everything else is the same then we're looking at a situation where the years between the release of dark souls 1 up until after dark souls 2 was released is just basically a rehash of everything that's been done i.e yes the giant dad memes, what rigs you got, bitch? That's, I guarantee you, like within the first two hours of the game being released, you're gonna find people cosplaying as the giant dad. I can guarantee it. Um, so that's one, you're gonna have the memes. Two, you're gonna have a situation where because the PVP was designed the way it was with the game mechanics, like four directional rolling while locked on, the instant backstabs, how poise works. What we're gonna see is a retelling, just in higher definition, of all the negative things that happened in Dark Souls 1 PvP. So you got people running with poise, wearing havels and poise rings, the wolf ring, just running around and backstabbing you. Even if you hit them while they're running towards you, they'll still poise through it and give you a backstab. So you're going to have backstab fishing all over again. Two, you're going to have a situation because you have un unlimited stun lock on certain weapons. And if you have no poise, you're going to come up with the whole R1 smash thing, Ouroboro, Falchion, Dark Moon Blade build. Spam R1, you're dead. That's going to come back. And of course, if that means that toggle escaping is coming back, if anyone remembers about toggle escaping, which was present in Demon Souls, but it carried over to Dark Souls 1. Which is basically, you have to um, pretend, not pretend, you actually have to switch weapons while you're being attacked for to get out of a stun lock, which is a glitch, honestly. It's not like real technology, it wasn't in, uh, meant to be in the game. And there is like the whole ravioli backstep thing, dead angling, all of that stuff. You're gonna have people uh, spamming wrath of the gods 
you're gonna have twinks with uh, like a fully upgraded weapons going in soul level 1 or soul level 10 this is just destroying people recently when the return to, return to Lord Ran event happened on the, I played on the PS3 a couple months back and I was soul level 20 or something like that and I had those cra cracked red eye orbs you find in Firelink Shrine I'm like I have four might as well just waste them and I invaded four people and each one of them was wearing you know Havels wearing the mom's uh, mask of the mother spamming dark bead and all that and I'm like oh no not this again I really don't miss that now in the competitive scene where people were against these kind of things um, and then it was like no backstabbing no blah 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 well you know that when you're in invasion that that's not gonna happen it's only gonna be in the honorable duels and Dark Souls 1 is not like Dark Souls 3 when it comes to honorable dueling it's just the systems were just different everything's slower everything's more methodical um, I'm not sure how they're gonna implement it I'm sure I know that there's gonna be better uh, netcode but we're gonna come into a situation where you have again six people allowed in the world which means you've got like Dark Souls 3 four phantoms and two invaders I'm just assuming now let's just assume that the Dark Souls 3 system will return so that's just gonna cause more chaos and some people like the chaos but that means again that it's uh, totally in the favor of the host and without Estus healing if you remember Dark Souls 1 didn't allow you to heal as a phantom or as an invader and that means you're the host who can heal with his Estus his phantoms means we're gonna have a lot more people crying about what's going on so honestly I'm concerned about how the PvP is gonna work a lot of people don't like Dark Souls 3 PvP. Honestly, I like it a lot because one, the net code is great. Two, when you hit somebody, you actually feel like you hit them. In Dark Souls 1, you just get that ooh sound. And it's just like the net code was weird. So I'm sure they'll fix these kind of things. They're not gonna like redo the, the whole game on the new engine on the Dark Souls 3 Bloodborne engine. I'm sure of that. Um But if everything stays the same, like how you spam dark magic flipping havels well you can't flip on havels anymore but you know what i mean just put a lot of uh heavy armor and uh, get a small weapon like a straight sword or a curved sword and then just spam away this is what dark souls one is gonna end up being i'm sure people are actually more excited about the memes than they are the actual part of the pvp and maybe the arena is gonna be fun again i don't know but these are my issues with the PvP. It um, it doesn't have this kind of hook to keep me in, except for like I said, the trolling, the twinking, the memes. I, I I'm sure there's gonna be like 40 videos within a couple of hours of the game launching about Giant Dad. Thank you, only Afro. The legend truly never dies. Anyway, that was just some ramblings of mine. Um, I'm suddenly doing Dark Souls 3 stuff. I might have a Bloodborne video coming up soon. So anyway, have a good uh, week, everybody, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.